Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 53 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about collections. Now, most of you probably know that a computer organizes files in folders and subfolders. And on the whole, Lightroom preserves that organization when you import images into it. Well, there are times when you might want to group an image that is in one folder together with an image that is in a different folder and group those with images that are in other folders and that's where collections come in. And there are three different types of collections in Lightroom. The first collection and the type I probably use the most is called a quick collection. And it's real easy to add an image to a quick collection. If you go down to the film strip in Lightroom and you look at the images down here, you'll notice in the top right hand corner, there's a little circle. If you click on that circle, you simply added that to the quick collection. And you could go through the images down here in the film strip and just add them one by one to the quick collection, whichever one, whichever image you want, just hit that circle. Another way to do it, is you could just hit the B key on your keyboard. That's B as in boy, and that will add it to the collection. If you want to remove the image from the collection, you could hit the B key again, and it will remove that image from the collection. Or you could just click on that circle again, and it will remove the image from the collection. Now, if you're in the library module in the grid view, and you have your computer set up to do this, you could add them here too. If you look at, uh, like, uh, let's see, this one. You look at this image and there's the circle. So I could add that to the quick collection. Now, if you don't see those circles, what you could do is you could right click on any of these images and go down to view options. And what is likely happening is you don't have this box checked. Check that box, then make sure that quick collection markers is checked. And then you could do it up here in grid view instead of, or in addition to doing it down here in the film strip. All right, you have these images in the quick collection. Where is the quick collection? Well, it's not where you might think it is. It's not down here where it says collections. It's not there. It's up here under catalog. You see quick collection and there's our five images. Now, the reason why I use a quick collection is when I import images, let's say I import a hundred images and they're down here, you know, they're imported, they're in the grid view and they're down here uh, in the, um, in the film strip, I could go through them really quickly and I could decide, let's say I want to, you know, process this one. I'll just add it to the quick collection. I don't like that one. Don't like that one. I want to process that one, add it to the quick collection. So then let's say out of those hundred images, I have 10 that I want to process. They're right up here in the quick collection. I could easily get to them and then process them. When I'm done with them, I could then, as I mentioned before, just hit the B key on each one and it will remove it from the collection, or I could click on this little circle again and it removes it from the collection. An easier way is to just right click right where it says quick collection and click on clear quick collection and it clears the quick collection. Now there's a lot of reason just to use a quick collection. Um, if you're getting images together to send to your mom and dad of their grandchildren, something like that, you have pictures of your children in all these different folders. You could go through the folders very quickly, just add the images you want to send to grandma and grandpa to the quick collection. Then when you're done, you go up to the quick collection, you could print them, you could email them to them, however you're going to send them to them. And then when you're done, right click on this and clear the quick collection and they're done. So that's, you know, there's tons of reasons why you might use a quick collection. Now, um, probably the more conventional collection is just the normal collection, and that's this down here, these collections. So let's say we want to create one. You can see there's a little plus sign right there. We'll click there, and we're gonna create a collection. Now we could give it a name. Let's give it a name. I don't know, we're, we're on building, so let's give it a name architecture like that. All right. Now there's some options. We're going to include the selected photos. I only have one selected. You could make a virtual copy. So the virtual copy will be what's in the collection. That way you're processing your virtual copy and you're not processing the original file in the original folder. Um, set as a target collection. We're going to talk about target collections in a second. And you could sync it with Lightroom Mobile if you so choose. So we want to create this architecture collection. So there it is. Now we could go back up to all these, any folder you want. Now I'm using the same one, just 
it's just faster for me to find it. So I want to add some to architecture images. All you have to do is you could grab them up here uh, in the grid view library module, or you could grab them down here in the um, film strip. And just don't grab the border. If you gra try grabbing the bo border, it won't drag. So you want to grab the middle of the image and you could drag them into this collection as simple as that so just like that so we're adding images to the collection by dragging them and again you could drag them from down here also so if you want you know that you could drag that in there like that so we have images in our collection now if you want what you could do is you could right click on any of your collections it doesn't matter you could have 10 here just right click on one of them and you could set it as the target collection. Well, what's that mean? Well, what that means is now when you go through these images and let's say I want to add this one to a collection, I want to add it to that architecture collection, I made this the targeted collection. So all I have to do is click that little circle and you can see it gets added there. Instead of getting added up here to the quick collection, it's added to my architecture collection because I made that the targeted collection. So um, that's just another way where you're telling it where to where these um, images to go when you click on that circle or hit the B key. And you might want to do that. It's easier than dragging them there. If you want to make another collection the targeted collection, or if you want to make the quick collection the targeted collection again, all you have to do is right click on it and set it as the target collection. Now that little plus sign is by that quick collection. And if I click on a circle, it gets added there, not, not down here anymore. So quick collections, um, basically you could move them around. You could either have it go right up here into the default location, or you could set one of your normal collections as the targeted collection and then that kind of becomes your quick collection where you're hitting these circles or clicking on the circles or hitting the B key and it's going into that. Now another type of collection is called a smart collection and if you click this little plus sign down here we could go right here and click a, create a smart collection and you have all these different um, like rules you could create for your smart collection and let's just do a simple one. I'm going to make the rating, and I'm going to make the rating is, um, let's see, is one star. Okay, so any image in my entire Lightroom library that has a one star rating is going to be put in this collection. And I'm just going to call this collection one star. Okay, like that. And there's all the one star images on my computer. They're all now in this smart collection. Now, what you could do, let's just go back up to here. Um, let's say I want this fire hydrant. Um, I'm going to give that a one star rating. If we go back and look here, my one star smart collection has 11 images. All right, I'm going to hit the one key on my keyboard to give this the one star rating. And now you could see we have 12 images and it includes our fire hydrant. So, you know, you could, uh, this could be very uh, fluid. As you're going through images, um, you could have a, a smart collection for one star images, a smart collection for two star images, a smart collection for blue labels, a smart collection that is for one star images that have blue labels, um, things like that. So it's really powerful to do all these different types of um, collections. Now, if I want to remove the image from a smart collection, all I have to do is remove the reason why it's there. This is there because it's a one star rated image. Well, if I make it a zero star rated image, it's gone. It's no longer in the collection. So you could just do that very quickly. Um, for these other collections, a normal collection, you could just like highlight the image you don't want in there anymore. And you could just hit the, the delete key on your keyboard. Now, if you hit the delete key on your keyboard, you're not going to delete the image off your hard drive or out of Lightroom. You're just taking it out of the collection, as simple as that. And, and so don't be afraid of hitting the delete key uh, when you're in a collection. 
Um, that's the easiest way to get rid of them from the collection. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about is a collection set. Now, if we go down here and we click the plus sign and we create a collection set, this is kind of like a folder for your collections. So we're going to call this um, set one. I don't know. All right. And we're going to create it. All right. Now we have this set and we have uh, this architecture collection. Just drag that into there. Now it's inside of that set. And we have this one star smart collection. Let's drag that into there. Now that's in there. So we have these two collections inside this set. So you might want to, maybe you have uh, landscape images and you have them rated at um, three star means that you, um, you like them. Five star means you've sold them. So you have um, landscape images, so that could be your set. And then you have five star ones and you have three star ones in two different smart collections. And you could put them in, your, in, in that set, something like that. So really, this is very versatile. All these collections, whether you're using a smart collection, a quick collection, or a normal collection. And you could come up with all these different reasons why it might work for you which would be different for me. For instance, I use that quick collection a lot when I import images. You might use the quick collection uh, to find images you want to send off to the lab to be printed, or just, as I mentioned in the example, to send it off to the grandparents, or something like that. You might use collections. I use collections all the time when I'm going to um, do a video, a training video, and I want to group some images together for the training video. Um, I want this image in this folder, that image in that folder, and this image in a different folder, and I'll put them in a collection. And I usually will call the collection like episode 12, episode, whatever episode I'm doing uh, for, that, um, for that video. And then when I'm done, all I do is right click here, and I could delete it right like that, or you could click this minus sign, and then you could delete it that way also. We could click that, click the minus sign, or if they're in a set, just click delete the whole set by clicking the minus sign. So it's going to warn you. And again, you're not going to delete any images off your computer. You're just deleting the collection. All right, and they're they're out. So that's kind of collections 101. I hope that helps you guys, and I hope you figure out a way you could make collections work for you in your workflow. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. Thank you very much. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.